Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £500 worth of £2 coins we're hunting through. We've got bag bags um, again. I can't remember. Did we have bag bags previously? Anyway, uh, bag bags are always a bit of hit and miss. There's always a chance that somebody's already pulled out all the goodies from these, bagged up the rest and paid it into the bank. But we have had times where we found some extraordinary finds in these bag bags. So we'll get into that in a moment. Ideally though, we want ones with more than face value, rarer coins, but ideally the few we are still missing. We finally ticked off our first Commonwealth game. Scotland is off the list, so Northern Ireland, Wales or England, any of those three would be fantastic finds. We have recently found the Scotland, was it the last video? So maybe we can get a back-to-back -back find. Uh, we also still need the Olympic Beijing handover, London Underground Roundel still, surprisingly. Navy Centenary with the flag error, otherwise we're pretty much there. So let's get into this bag, see what we find today. Right then, bag number one. The other reason I like these is because I can reuse the bags. I, otherwise I bulk buy a, a hu humongous quantity of them for rebagging to pay back into my bank. Um, right, we've got technologies there. The definitive standard design used on two pound coins up until 2015. Some of them are lower minted, just not low enough that I think they're desirable enough to look out for and keep. Not to say that you shouldn't, if that's what you want to collect, you crack on and do what you want to do. Um, there's our first commemorative, it's the VE Day Anniversary. Big VE Day Anniversary next year, it's the 80th anniversary of uh, the victory in Europe, so expecting some coins related to that, otherwise it's a very, very common coin, that one. We have got counters, that's the little diddly do that pops up in the corner. We've got counters tracking some of the coins, not all of the different commemoratives, because I don't have endless time to edit all these videos. There's another commemorative, Brunel's Achievements, Arches at Paddington Station, one of the two Brunel £2 coins you'll find in your change. Again, it's a fairly common coin, not worth writing home about, unfortunately. But it's always nice to get a variety of different coins in a hunt, whether it's um, common or not. Every collection needs the coin to be complete, so it is nice to see, although expected to obviously come up. But no, I feel I feel I feel positive. Now we've broken the seal on the Commonwealth Games. Um, <laughs> it's not quite as daunting as needing all four, having found none of them. So you never know. We'll have to just, just keep on going, and eventually we'll find the ones we're after. Right, let's do an age inscription hunt, nice and early, so we can do it on two pound coins because they have an age inscription. You can see all this writing here. The wording is unique to the coins. So if it says standing on the shoulders of giants, which the majority of these are, actually, you can see the downward tick of the T on that one is a little bit missing. Um, I guess it's kind of an, an, an kind of an error. That's not how it should be, but it's a circulated coin. They're struck at great speeds in vast quantities, so there's always going to be these slight issues. So, it, uh, although again, it's kind of interesting, but it's just it doesn't add value to it. So, not a rare error. Um, Similarly, there's no right or wrong way for the edge inscription to be. It's 50-50 what way it lands in the machine. But this one at the very end is going to be something. Uh, magnanimity will be another VE Day anniversary. There we go. Number two. Otherwise, I think that's all we're getting from this, the first bag. It certainly is. Well, let's carry on our merry way. We've got plenty of bags to get through. You never know what sort of treasures we might find. Obviously we know we're not going to be finding any 2023 new definitive £2 coins because none were struck for circulation. We've got the uh, Brunel's achievements once again. Oh and there are a couple of things, all three in a row, my goodness. So this is the Active Union, again it's a fairly common coin but we'll check for a rotation error. This one doesn't have the rotation error. I don't check for all the errors during the video because there's so much to look for. So on the Shakespeare's we check for the edge inscription, all the world's a stage, that's correct for this coin. It's still worth a smidge over face value. They're not the most valuable ones, but it's a popular set which bumps up its value. Uh, but no, at the end of the video, whoa! <laughs> Was that five in a row? Goodness gracious, well, another VE day anniversary for the counter. And Lord Kitchener, this is another uh, error we do look out for. It's the mule error. Uh, so on the obverse, the head side at the bottom, it should say two pounds which this one does. That is not the mule error. This is how it should appear in circulation. If you get a Lord Kitchener that doesn't say £2, that is the mule error. That is a very valuable, very rare error coin. 
I've never found one. I know about seven or eight of them that are out there at least. But it would be an absolutely stunning find. Oh, there we go. All right, second attempt at mule error. Nope, not a mule error. So that's obviously been produced by using the dies from two different coins by mistake to strike that coin, rather than the two dies that were supposed to be for that coin. It's a mule because a mule is is the, is the offspring of a donkey and a horse, isn't it, I think? Um, hence why it's called a mule error, because it's a child of two different dies. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Brunel's portrait there. That's both the Brunel's we found then. Again, not the most exciting coin, but uh, as I was saying, with all the other errors, so edge inscriptions on the rest of these, the commemoratives, rotations on all of them, I will, of course, pick through at the end of the video. I will pause and do it, so it'll be an instantaneous update for you. And about 20 minutes for me to go through it separately and do. Nothing on that one, unfortunately. But I've said many, many times about the new definitive two pound coin that sort of floral design I think it's a lovely design I think it's really cool um, I'm not sure that we'll get it in circulation anytime soon now this is just my own musings this is not with any hidden knowledge secret squirrel clubs that I'm uh, <laughs> may or may not be members of um, it is purely based on the fact that the Britannia two pound coins were mint for circulation in 2021 and 2022 and they've not turned up in circulation yet the VE Day, VE Day anniversary. So it stands to reason those coins are still at the Royal Mint in the long store waiting for demand somewhere across the country to peak and for those two pound coins to go out. So I think we need to start seeing those coins before they will strike more because they are obviously kept at the Royal Mint in reserve um, and there's just not the demand for them. Another Brunel's achievements? But no, so I guess if we want more two pound coins in circulation Union. No rotation error. If we want the new two pound coins to get into circulation, we should all start stockpiling two pound coins. <laughs> it needs to be in a certain area though, so if we need to get everyone together in one specific area of the country and uh, stash away a bunch of two pound coins so that those Britannias can come out. And then we obviously need to keep all those Britannias so that uh, more can be struck. Although I do wonder. If suddenly there was demand for more £2 coins and the Royal Mint had the chance to strike them, would we prefer the new definitives get struck for circulation or would we prefer some of the commemoratives in that year get struck for circulation? Because it's been a very long time since we had a new commemorative. The last ones were in 2016. We've not had another circulating commemorative £2 coin ever since then. I guess the obvious answer is we'd like some of the new definitives and some commemoratives but we shall wait and see it would be lovely it'd be in fact it'd be the, the what the first time since i started uh, hunting through two pound coins that we'd added a new coin into the book that just goes to show compared to 50 pieces we've had tons of them added since i started hunting through coins all those years ago right guy fawkes gunpowder plot again fairly common coin nothing too exciting uh, there's trinity house Another nice design. Right. Should we do another edge hunt? We did find something in the first one, so let's try our luck once more. What have we got? We have got standing, giants, shoulders, shoulders, standing, giants, the shoulders, giants, giants of giants, don't oh you? What's happened there? Someone's. Had I go at that coin. Obviously that is post mint damage, that's not a minting error. It's another thing that obviously comes up an awful awful lot of time people with damaged coins thinking, oh that's going to be a um, an error. I think I did see a glimpse of this first one here. You can see the wiggly wiggly line and then uh, I can't say it backwards, I can say it forwards though. Deoxyribonucleic acid DNA. It is a beautiful design, even if you ignore you've got to ignore the schmutz on it. But it's a very pretty coin, despite whoops being quite a common one. Uh, okay, all flying over the place. What have we got otherwise? Um, no, 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 no. Nope. Don't think we've got anything there. Which is a shame. There we go. 
Right, few more bags, few more bags. Best thing so far, Shakespeare comedies, but you never know what could turn up in these later bags. We'll just sit and cross our fingers. We've not had this one today, but it's a very, very common coin, the uh, Army Centenary. No rotation error. It's 2016, so check the age inscription for king and country. So that's as it should be in circulation. No exciting errors on that coin, unfortunately. But no, we've not got much left of this year. And uh, we're expecting quite a few coins to come out. We've had some of them come out. Harry Potter, uh, which I moaned about in another video. I'm not too keen on the design. Um, and the mammoth, which again, I like the design. I like the fact that the silver proof without color has such a low mintage. It's a, an exciting prospect, that coin. And no 140th ounce golds were there. Because mm. there was for the first Harry Potter and the flying keys. Maybe that is a sign. Or was there? Did I buy it? I can't remember now. I didn't think I did. Now I'm going to have to panic and go and check to see if I've missed a 140th ounce. They're, they're terrible buys as an investment. But I just love the, the craftsmanship it has taken to reduce the design down to such a small coin. So I might have just, <laughs> with my mutterings on this video, might have just cost myself... They're, all, they're around £100 now, aren't they? <laughs> oh, it's terrible, but it's cool. I like them. I like them. That's all that matters. Not everything we collect is to make a profit, right? So I keep telling myself. Penultimate bag, then. Anything for this one? Oh, no. Okay, last bag. Otherwise, Shakespeare Comedies takes it as our best find so far. Right, as usual, there are links in the description of this video across to my coin collecting Discord server if you'd like to come and join me on that. There are also links to my other social media channels, the PO Box address if you want to write in to me, and of course a link to the Britannia Coin Company YouTube channel, the company I work for as my day job, so please check them out too. I'm just going to whiz through all these coins now and see if there's any errors that I might have missed throughout the hunt. Well unfortunately no exciting error coins, which means our star find is a Shakespeare comedies. So. Not the greatest of finds, but there we go. At least we found some coins. Let me know in the comments if you've been luckier than me. What two pound coins have you been finding in your change, your bank uh, bank hunts, whatever it happens to, however you're finding your two pound coins. I'm interested to know what your star find. I'm sure you found better than I have this week. Anyway, all it leaves me to now though is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.